<laughs> a case in a two-story cottage is being heard. A painter, who was painting the house exterior, gives his testimony. I was standing on the ladder, painting the wall near the second floor window. From above, I noticed how this guy broke in through the door, and then I saw everything through the window. And what did you see? He rushed into the room and pushed the girl onto the bed. Okay, and then? He ripped off her skirt and blouse. And then? He took off her bra and panties. And then? He lay on top of her. And then? After that, I didn't see anything because the ladder broke and I fell down. Why did it break? Because there were already nine people on it. At the Viagra support service, a phone call rings. The operator says, Yes, I'm listening to you. The man asks, what should I do? The operator responds, What's the problem? Buy Viagra, read the instructions, take one pill, and you will know exactly what to do. The man says, I bought Viagra. My wife and I decided to make love during the day. We sent our daughter to practice. I took the drug. The operator asks, And what? It didn't work. The man replies, It worked very well but they cancelled my daughter's practice and guests unexpectedly arrived. That's why I'm asking, what should I do? Once upon a time, there was a king who thought that his officers were going to try to have his queen, so he made all of his officers put on tight pants and told them that if anyone got a their head would be chopped off. So he lined them up and the queen came to the first one and took off her gown. He got a so that was the end of him. Then she came to the next one and took off her gown. He got a and that was the end of him. This went on until she came to the last one and took off gown, then her underthings, and he didn't get a So she took off his clothes and started rolling on the floor with him. Half an hour went by, then an hour. Finally, after two hours, the king came in to see what was happening. And as soon as the king came in, the guy got a b A military officer's wife came to the unit commander with a request. Influence my husband. He's cheating on me. The commander asked, Is he really cheating? Do you have any evidence? She said, I do. I found women's underwear in his pocket. Just then, the alarm sounded. The commander put the underwear in his pocket and said, All right, we'll deal with this later. After the alarm, late in the evening, the tired commander returned home. They sat down to eat, and his wife asked, Did you receive your allowance today? He replied, Yes. Go, it's in my pocket. She returned with the money and the underwear, saying, You're quite the joker, Peter. I've been looking for these panties for three days, and you've been carrying them in your pocket. A police officer attempts to stop a car for speeding, and the guy gradually increases his speed until he's topping 100 macrospeed. The man eventually realizes he can't escape and finally pulls over. The cop approaches the car and says, It's been a long day, and my shift is almost over, so if you can give me a good excuse for your behavior, I'll let you go. The guy thinks for a few seconds and then says, my wife ran away with a cop about a week ago. I thought you might be that officer trying to give her back. A young woman tries to get a job at an elite bro The madam lazily looks her over and says with disdain, Well, young lady, our establishment is elite, so we don't take just anyone. What can you do? I can do four types of special bl Our girls know 400 ways to give a but nobody knows these ways. All right, we'll check. She calls the security guard. Matt, go with her to the room. Let her show you. They leave. Half an hour passes. An hour. An hour and a half. Finally, the security guard, exhausted, crawls out. The madam asks, Well, what did she show you? Oh, the first method is phantom. How does that work? She swallows the head and stretches the skin from the pubic area over her face. Hmm, 
And the second? Glasses. She swallows the head and stretches the tail for her ears. Wow! And the third? Airplane. She swallows the head and spreads the tail sides with her outstretched arms. And the fourth one? The fourth? We didn't get to that one. I didn't have the strength. But she said it's called Phantom, Phantom with glasses on an airplane. And is driving a young boy caught sight of his mother changing one day and asked her what that was that she had between her legs. That is something you're never going to talk about again. And you shouldn't touch it either, because it has teeth. Many years went by, and the boy never touched any girl in between her legs, because he was very scared. One day, however, he met the love of his life, and in time, they got married. On their wedding night, his wife asked him to touch her there. No, he said. It's got teeth. Silly goose, she said. She spread her legs wide for him to see. See? No teeth. Well, I'm not surprised, the man said. Not with gums like that. Man planned trip on ship with wife for month. He went to the pharmacy and bought a bottle of seasick pills and a tube of lubricant. Upon returning home, his wife said, I've been thinking, there's no reason we can't go for a month. Mr. Johnson went back to the pharmacy and asked for 12 bottles of seasick pills and a tube of lubricant. When he returned, his wife said, Since the children are on their own, what's stopping us from cruising the world? He went back and bought 200 bottles of seasick pills and more tubes of lubricant. The pharmacist finally had to ask, You know, Mr. Johnson, I don't mean to pry, but if it makes you that sick, why the hell do you do it? A wife comes home and tells her husband, You know, Jack, I was so lucky today. I go to the garbage chute and there's a pair of shoes. So beautiful. I tried them on. My size. The husband says, Yeah, you really were lucky. A couple of days later, the wife tells him again, Listen, I enter the entrance and there's a mink coat hanging. I tried it on, my size. The husband sighs. Yes, you're lucky, but I'm not. Imagine, I pulled out underwear from under the pillow yesterday. Not my size. There were these two guys working late in a morgue when one guy said, Hey man! There is a woman in there with a shrimp in her v The other asked, What is a shrimp doing a dead woman's Let me go see. Both of them went in the room with the woman, and they both curiously looked. Finally, the second man said, You idiot, this isn't shrimp, it's a And the other man replied, Well, it tasted like shrimp to me. There was a man who had three girlfriends, but he did not know which one to marry. So he decided to give each one $5,000 and see how each of them spent it. The first one went out and got a total makeover with the money. She got new clothes, a new hairdo, manicure, pedicure, the works, and tells the man, I spent the money so I could look pretty for you because I love you so much. The second one went out and bought new golf clubs, a CD player, a television, and a stereo, and gave them to the man. She said, I bought these gifts for you with the money because I love you so much. The third one takes the $5,000 and invests it in the stock market, doubles her investment, returns the $5,000 to the man, and reinvests the rest. She says, I am investing the rest of the money for our future because I love you so much. The man thought long and hard about how each of the women spent the money. Finally, being the mere man he was, he decided to marry the, the one with the biggest A driver is returning from a business trip, sees a gypsy woman hitchhiking. He thinks, should he pick her up or not? If you pick her up, she'll talk your ear off. If you don't, She'll curse you. Well, he thinks, let me pick her up. Let her talk. The gypsy woman says to him, Dear, golden, diamond, let me tell your fortune. I don't need my fortune told. I know what was. I'll find out what will be. 
Well, then I'll tell you three truths. Well, speak. The first truth. The moon shines but does not warm. True? True. The goat does not shave his beard. True. True. And the third truth. Your wife Mary goes to the neighbor. It can't be. It's not true. I don't believe it. Believe it or don't believe it. The driver comes home. His wife meets him, sets the table, puts a bottle. They drank, ate, and he started telling her what the gypsy woman had told him. He told the first truth. Mary says, Oh, she told the truth. He told the second truth. Mary agrees again. But I won't tell you the third truth, Mary. She pestered him. Tell me. Tell me. He says, And the third truth. The neighbor John has such a tiny... Well, that's not true. After Brian proposed to Jill, his father took him to one side. Son, when I first got married to your mother, the first thing I did when we got home was take off my pants. I gave them to your mother and told her to try them on, which she did. They were huge on her, and she said that she couldn't wear them because they were too large. I said to her, Of course they are too big for you. I wear the pants in this family, and I always will. Ever since that day, son, we have never had a single problem. Brian took his dad's advice and did the same thing to his wife on his wedding night. Then Jill took off her panties and gave them to Brian. Try these on, she said. Brian went along with it and tried them on, but they were far too small. What's the point of this? I can't get into your panties, said Brian. Exactly, Jill replied. And if you don't change your attitude, you never will. A man goes to his doctor complaining about migraines. His doctor tells him, I also suffer from the same ailment. Every time I get one, I give my wife oral When she has an orgsm, she tightens her legs around my head, which gets rid of the pain. You should try it sometime. Two weeks later, on a return visit, the patient tells his doctor, Your suggestion worked, and I'd like to tell you that you have a very nice house. A young mother is sitting with her six-year-old daughter on a bus. The girl is looking out the window very attentively. She notices a lone prostitute on the side of the road. The daughter asks her mother, Mom, what is that lady doing alone on the road? The mother replies, That's a woman who bought different things for her house, waiting for her husband who should pick her up in a car. The bus driver hears all this and unexpectedly joins the conversation. Why are you lying to the child? That's a who makes love for money with different men. The girl pondered and finally asked her mother again. If she makes love, does that mean children appear? And who do they become later? The mother says, bus drivers, bus drivers. <laughs> Ha 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 